Hi, I hope you're ready for 3.2, Truth Tables for Negation, Conjunction, and Disjunction. I really enjoy this stuff. I like the logical part of this. I like being able to, to go from English to symbols and looking at a statement. It's kind of a neat um, ability. Okay, Truth Table, first of all, is a device used to determine when a compound statement is true or false. So, for example, P. If P is true, not P is false. If P is false, not P is true. So in a compound statement, we have two statements in the compound statement. We can use this setup. P is true, true, then false, false. And Q would be true, false, true, false. So this gives us all the cases when P is true and Q is true. P is true, Q is false. P is false, Q is true. P is false, Q is false. Gives us all four cases. So a conjunction, true, true, false, false true, false, true, false. A conjunction is only true when both parts are true. So this is only true when both P and Q are true. So it's true there. And maybe I'll change colors. I'll go to red. That'll be a little more standout-ish, huh? So we have true for this case, then false, false, false for the other cases. Because in the other cases, only one is true at the most. Even down here, they're both false. scroll up here. It says construct a truth table for not P and Q. Now this is how I like to make my truth tables. I think it's a little bit different than the way book, the book makes their tr truth tables. I start off with a P, then I look at the not P, I look at the Q, I look at not P and Q. So true, true, false, false. Q would be false, true, false, true, false. So the opposite of P would be false, false, true, true. So this is a conjunction, and we're looking for the place they're both true. Both of these two right here. So we have false and true, that's false. False and false, that's false. True and true, that's true. True and false, that's false. Now we're going to construct a truth table. Example two, construct a truth table for I have not slept and I'm not ready for work. So I'll say that P would be, I have slept. And Q would be, uh, I am ready for work. And this statement would be, not P and not Q. We have P, we have Q. We have not P, we have not Q. And here we're going to have not P and not Q. Start off, standard setup, true, true, false, false. True, false, true, false. Now, not P is the opposite of the P column. False, false, true, true. Not Q would be the opposite of the Q column. False, true, false, true. So not P and not Q would be these two columns here. We're looking where there, it's an and, so where they're both going to be true at the same time. So false and false is false. False and true is still false. True and false is false, but true and true is true. So when is this going to be true? It's going to be true when both the not P and the not Q are true. And those are true when our original statements are false. When I have slept is false and I am ready for work is false. They both have to be false there. Part C says, if I have slept, that's the P, is false, so one of these two. And I'm ready for work, that's Q, is true, that's this one. So we're going along here. What's it going to be? It's going to be a false statement. Okay. I need to pause that. Go ahead and pause. I'm going to scroll this up. For the disjunction, that's a P or Q. The disjunction is only false if both P and Q are false. So as long as one of them is true, it's a true statement. 
So true or true is true, true or false is true, false or true is true, false or false is, that's false, they're both false. So let's go on to example three. So let's construct a truth table for not P and Q. So we have our P column, our Q column. We have our P and Q column. This is the negation of P and Q. So we have true, true, false, false. True, false, true, false. P and Q. It's true here. False, false, false. Because this is the and, they both have to be true, and they're not both true in any of these cases. The negation would be false, true, true, true. Now, I don't recommend reading that book's way of doing truth tables. Their way is kind of different. You may like it. I, I don't know. You may like it. I, I don't like it. I, this is more of a standard method of truth tables. Okay, so example four, construct a truth table for the negation of not P and not Q. So we do our P column and our Q column. We'll do a not P column and a not Q column. We'll do not P and not Q. Then our final column is the negation of this column. So the negation of not P and not Q. So the negation of P would be false, false, true, true. We're just negating this column, the opposite of these columns. The negation of Q is the opposite of this column. False, true, false, true. Not P and not Q is referencing these two columns. False and false is false. False and true is false. True and false is false. True and true is true. And the last column is the negation of this column. True, 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 false. I'm going to go on to the next one. Now, what if you have three statements, P, Q, and R? So you have P, Q, and R, you do four trues and four falses for P, then your Q is true, true, false, false, true, true, false, false, and then your R is true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false, all the way down. This gives you all the cases that would consider when P might be something Q, something in R, something, you have all the cases. So there are eight possibilities when you have three statements. There are four possibilities when you have two statements. There's uh, two possibilities when you have one statement. So what if you had four statements? Well, the pattern we're looking at is two to the fourth. That'd be 16 possibilities. Okay, so we construct a truth table. For Mike made a pizza and Dennis made a chef salad, but Gil burned the lemon squares. So P is Mike made a pizza. Q, Dennis made a chef salad. And R, Gil burn the lemon squares. This statement would look like P and Q and R. Uh, since there's a comma here, we'll put the parentheses around P and Q. So do a column of P and Q, then a column P and Q and R. So P and Q. True and true is true. True and true is true. True and false is false. True and false, false. False and true is false. False and true, false. False and false is false. False and false is false. 
P and Q and R, you have this column and this, true and true is true, true and false is false, true and false is false, or I should say false and true, false and false, false, false and true, false, false and false, false, false and true, false, false and false, false. So this would be the final answer column. Let's go on to the last page. Feel free to pause this. Determine if the statement is true. Alaska is a 50th state, or Hawaii is a group of islands, and Atlanta is the capital of Alabama. So we have P. Alaska is the 50th state. Q. Hawaii is a group of islands. R. Atlanta is the capital of should be capital O L of Alabama. So what we have is Alaska, so that's P or Hawaii, Q, and P or Q, and Atlanta is the capital of Alabama. That's our R. We have true, 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 false, 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 true, true, false, false, true, true, false, false, true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false, P and Q, P or Q. So one of them is true, so it's true, true, true or false is true, true or false is true, false or true is true, false or true is true, false or false is false. False or false is false. Then the column P or Q and R. So we this column and this column. True and true. True and false. True and true. True and false. True and true. True and false. No, false. False and true. False and false. Now, is the statement true or false? I did the truth table. Well, what do we know? Is Alaska the 50th state? The answer is no, it's the 40th state. So that's a false statement. Is Hawaii a group of islands? That is true. And is Atlanta the capital of Alabama? No, that is false. So we're looking at a case where it's FTF. FTF is right here. And that result is a false statement. Okay. Got one question left to go. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll this up. So feel free to pause that. Example 7, read the requirements and each applicant's qualifications for obtaining a loan. To qualify for a loan of $40,000, an applicant must have a gross income of $28,000 of single, $46,000 combined income of married, and assets of at least $6,000. Mr. Rusnick, married with three children, earns $42,000. Okay, so that, that meets the income requirement. No, I take it back. Married needs to be 46000 so that's not going to work. Does not have an income. Mr. Rusnick does not have an income. Um, I should say Ms. Rusnick, but the Rusnicks have assets of $42,000, and that would work, but he must have a combined income of $46,000 of marriage, so the answer is no. Mr. Duncan is not married. 
works in sales, earns not pounds but dollars, of $31,000. Okay, that works with the income. He has assets of $9,000, that works. So that'd be a yes for Mr. Duncan. Mrs. Tuttle and her husband have the total assets of 43000 Well, that's nice. Uh, one earns 35000 the other earns 23500 so 35000 plus 23500 58500 Yep, meets that requirement, so it's a yes for them. They get the loan. Okay. I think that's it from this section. Yeah. Okay. Well, that'll do it for 3.2, Truth Tables. Hope you enjoyed that. We're going to be doing some more Truth Tables in 3.3 and then uh, Equivalent Statements in 3.4. So, hope you're enjoying this. I like this a lot myself and I think a lot of people can enjoy this. Thanks. Bye.